Hi, I'm Discipline Dave, and I'm about to show you the best piece of equipment that you can buy for under $50. That's right, $50. Not only that, I'm gonna show you how to get a great workout with it also. So without further ado, I present you with the pull-up bar. Wait, I know you've seen this before, but you may not know all the exercises that you can do with it. So stay with me and I guarantee you will look at this old tried and true piece of equipment in a different way. Now, if you don't have a pull-up bar or need every dollar of your stimulus check, believe me, I understand. So I have a link that I put right here to show you how to get a great workout with only household items. Okay, great. Now let's get started. Now, when you're getting ready to set up your pull-up bar, it's very important that you're nice and secure. Make sure that you put those ends right on the door frame. Now our first exercise is going to be the chin up. You're going to grab with your grip going lateral and you're just going to pull straight up. Now the important thing is that you want to make sure that you come all the way down but not to your elbows lock in place. You want to come down to the point where your back is contracted. Now we're gonna freeze it right here and do a little technique check. Now notice that you wanna come all the way up and squeeze those biceps. It's not about getting your chin over the bar, it's about coming up all the way into your biceps are fully contracted in its most contracted state. Remember, technique leads to a good physique. Now this is the same pull up, but it's gonna be with a neutral grip. And the reason why we're gonna do it with a neutral grip is that it's gonna give us a workout with our forearms and our brachialis muscles. And the brachialis is gonna add width to your biceps. So this is a very good exercise to do for your arms. Now with this exercise, we're gonna do the exact same thing but we're gonna go wider. So you're gonna get a really wide grip and you're gonna pull your chest up to the bar. Don't make the mistake of trying to get your chin to the bar. You wanna pull your chest to the bar. Now let's rewind that back. Now, once again, when you're doing this movement, this is a back exercise. And when you pull your chest to the bar, then it's gonna make it so that you can contract your back better. Very important. Now this next exercise is gonna require some straps. They usually come right in with your pull-up bar. Now what you're gonna do is go ahead and put them on the end of the bar. And then you're gonna make sure that you secure that bar. So you're gonna put one arm in at a time through the inside of the straps and you're gonna make sure you're secure and grab the straps at the top. Now you're ready to get in the brace position to lift your legs. Now when you're lifting your legs, you wanna make sure that you lift up high. What you wanna do is make sure that your pelvis or your butt is showing directly in front. That way we can make sure we can get a maximum contraction of the abdominals. Now we're gonna freeze it right here and do a technique check. Now you wanna make sure that your upper body is stable throughout this entire exercise. That way there's not any wasted movement and you're focusing on the abdominals. Now when your body is stable, the next thing to do is lift those legs up high. Now this next exercise is gonna work out our triceps, the back of the arms. So what you're gonna do is do dips. So a dip is you're gonna grab each end of the bar and go down with your legs straight and squeeze those triceps at the top. It's very important to squeeze those triceps. Make sure those elbows are locked in place. Now, if you made it this far, 
I think you liked my video. So why don't you show me by hitting that like button right there below in the lower right hand corner. I would greatly appreciate it. Now this one right here needs no explanation. It's the old tried and true push up. Just lay it on the ground and go ahead and grip the bar to the side and push straight up. Make sure you go down low all the way until your bar touches the chest and squeeze that chest at the top. Now it's time to hit that core. We're gonna go ahead and put that pull up bar on the ground, secure it to the door and put our feet at the bottom. Here's a different angle, right there on the ground again. Make sure your feet are secure and you can go ahead and begin to do crunches. Now this is a great tool for you to keep your feet down and focus on your abdominals. And the main thing that you wanna remember here is that your back clears the ground. So make sure that those shoulders and that upper portion of that back comes straight up. Now it's time for the good old technique check. Now with this, you wanna make sure, I'm gonna reiterate again, a crunch is not just lifting your head up. You wanna clear your upper back from the ground. That's right, make sure your upper back and your shoulders are off the ground. Now to end it off, we're gonna finish it with some bicep curls. And we're gonna do high repetition, focus on technique, and squeeze those biceps. Squeeze. And we wanna do about 15 to 25 reps. Get those veins popping. Also, pro tip, you can take some large water drugs, the ones with handles, and put them on the end, add some extra weight, some coat hangers with some clothes, if you want to make this exercise more difficult. But right now, we're going for hypertrophy. Now this concludes our workout for today. And if you have any questions about the workout or how to use the equipment, just leave a comment below. And for quicker responses, send me a message on Instagram at Discipline Dave. Also, this is a new channel and it really helps me out if you hit that like button. And if you want more workouts, just hit that subscribe button and thank you, truly thank you for watching. Goodbye.